Okay, we're gonna do some um, handling with him. So I am gonna trim his nails and I'm gonna handle his paws and look in his ears and eyes and all of that. And you want him to be good with this because you might need to administer medication at some point, um, you know, with the eye drops or you might need ear drops if he ever has an infection or you wanna clean in there. Uh, they're looking very good. Oh, there's a little, no, they're good, they're good. Let me see this one. Um, and it, you know, he's very tolerant of this. He likes belly rubs. So make it fun for him. Uh, but also, you know, you need to be um, no nonsense. You wanna make sure that, that he allows you to um, come in and trim the nails if you're the one trimming them. Um, and he's young enough, guys, I would just be doing this on the regular with him. Um, do it when he's calm, good job. Do little bits at a time. Uh, you know, maybe maybe only get one one paw done at a at a sitting. You know, and you can space it out throughout the day. Um, it's kind of dark over here, so I just want to make sure I have a good. I what I do is I press the nail bed to get that nail out as far as possible, and then I just do the trimming the ends there, the tips, and then um, if he gets real fidgety, I'll just stop and we'll come back later and do some more. But he's real good about it, so. We're gonna do the, the mani-pedi. Same thing goes for if you're drying him off. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Let's see, here we go. We've got a towel over here. So grab a towel if you're trying to dry him off. You want him to cooperate. You know, some dogs, especially, he's so young, so it's really easy to train him. Um, but just make it like, you know, the more you talk to him, the more shushily he'll be. So just keep be mindful. You know, maybe don't talk so much to him. A lot of times we get, you know, razz the dog up by accident. We're talking to him in a high-pitched voice or something. Um, but just go about your business, get it done, get him dried off, and teach him to tolerate this so he's not a hassle. Like some dogs are such a hassle to do this and it really is, it becomes a problem once they're full grown. And then they realize they have a leg up on you because they're full grown and they're strong. And then you're, you find yourself in a situation where you can't work with your dog and it's a real pain. So. But he's pretty darn good, and uh, there you go. I'll see you later.